Back in 2007, Ireland's economy seemed to be booming. But in less than 18 months, the building industry was in tatters, the banks had to be bailed out, and the country was on its knees. Unemployment levels soared to almost half a million people, and immigration was on the rise again as people saw jobs in the future for themselves and their families. But for some, there was another option, one that would mean some pretty drastic changes to their lives, but would ultimately be worth it. That was to return to education as mature students. This is their story. It's Sinead Cushion, and I was a student in IT Carlow. My name is Philip Crow. I've, uh, I graduated from Carlow uh, IT uh, with a Bachelor of Honours in uh, Supply Chain Management in 2014. My name is Ben Dolan. I am a student on a springboard course in digital media design in IT Carlow's Wexford campus. I came back to education because of the recession, <laughs> basically. Um, I was in construction. We were the first hit. So when I was laid off, I couldn't stick being at home. Unfortunately, I lost my job in Dublin in 2013. And I had a look around again to try and um, do something and further uh, my education, maybe get a master's. To come back to edu education was a very big decision. It's, it's not an easy step for a mature student. It's, uh, it's something you really have to think that you, you want to do. So um, as, once I made the decision, it was great. Once I took the step, the first step. Um, I found I was applying for jobs and there were people younger than me, um, willing to work for less money, uh, with better qualifications. So I was found I was, I was up against um, these sort of people. And if you're up against people in a competition like that, you want to be, you know, you want to give yourself the best chance you can. Financially, yes, it's a big, it's, a, it's, it's huge. Not to put too fine a point on it, it's huge. Um, I mean, even to buy coffee. When you're on 188 euro, you know, buying coffee five days a week, it's, it's things like that. And th there's, there's no, no support. I live in New Ross, I have to get to Wexford uh, two nights a week and then on a Saturday. So that's like, that's costing me probably 30, 40 bucks every week just to get to college. There's no student maintenance. So you're, you're basically on your own. So it is a big, it's a, it's a big worry. During um, the course, I was now resident in New Ross. So um, being 40 miles from Carlo, I my first problem was probably transport, as I don't drive due to medical reasons. And um, there's no public transport between New Ross and Carlo. And um, there is a train, um, but again, the schedule doesn't suit. And um, I found that uh, in the year 2013, that rents in Carlo had uh, gone up dramatically. So um, staying there while receiving um, a social um, payment weekly, just it just wasn't possible on the budget. They get the first two years, they go along and then it just wears them out. It just wears them down. The third year then is very hard because the workload steps up, really ramps up. And by the end of the third year, they've nothing left. And, and some of them do, just, just cut and run. All was going well until about uh, October when my employers had to change my work schedule um, to Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. And unfortunately, in the springboard um, legislation or in the agreements between the college and the employers, there's no stipulation for the student to be accommodated. And seeing my new work hours um, were the same days as college days, I unfortunately had to withdraw from the course. A lot of mature students are very restricted time-wise. They can come in for classes, but five o'clock comes, they have to be home to pick children up and the home, the home life, you know, doesn't allow for any, any, anything, which is, a, which is a big, it's a big issue with mature students and especially with the extracurricular activities in the college they don't get 
a chance to partake as much as the, the young students, the youngsters as I call them. The difficulties of being a mature student, I suppose, the biggest, the biggest kind of difficulty is the one inside your own head, is actually getting back into, into education and getting back into writing and um, being in a classroom, um, being in that situation again. The upside of being a mature student is I think you kind of, um, you really appreciate it more, you know. Um, I felt that I ha was halfway through the course and um, because um, there was no accommodation to be made between the employer and the college, I, when I had to withdraw, I really felt that um, it had been, uh, first of all, very disappointing, but secondly, a waste of time financially, both for the college and um, for the actual reasoning for having Springboard. The government makes it harder and harder and harder. There are no supports, none. They all, they, they wax lyrical about education, education, retraining, and that's all it is. It's just, just a mouthpiece. When it comes to actually putting something solid in for students, there's nothing there. There's a lot of work to be done between the authorities, employers and student um, bodies to try and make um, the return to education for mature students less of um, a steep hill um, to climb. But if you're out there and you are at the bottom of the mountain starting to climb, I'd say just try and get over all the difficulties because at the end of the day, when you walk out with a new qualification and you have surmounted all of those issues, it'll be worth it in the long run. Coming back to college just broadened my horizons. It was, it was fantastic. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very uplifting experience. Um, I've enjoyed it. I think it's great. I think, you know, everybody should do it. Go to college, be a mature student. It's great.